Hey guys, it's me again, Nico. And I have another passage from my book that I wanted to share. Uh, this one is about my nephew, Angel. Uh, we bonded years and years ago, this kid. Angel would come by my home from time to time with some of his more brain dead friends from Staten Island for my amusement. Once he brought this girl and her boyfriend over to buy weed for my delivery guy. I was happy to do it because I used ne nearly any excuse to see my nephew. I noticed for some time that she was standing and bouncing lightly like a person who really had to use the restroom. Sorry, there's a misprint in my book. I meant that the girl he brought was bouncing. <laughs> That's terrible. Oh my god. Uh, da, 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 da. Where was I? Like a person who really had to use a restroom. I think she may have done this for about an hour. Angel and I had been catching up for a bit, and it took me a while to find the number, and so it must have been close to an hour before she got up the courage to ask. Her question, however, was oddly worded, so I took the opportunity to fuck with her. Do you have a bathroom, she asked. Really? You asked me that question, and you expect a serious answer? Oh my god, people, humans. Do you have a bathroom, she asked. My knee-jerk res response was no, and I stared at her quizzically. I probably even blinked my eyes once or twice. She seemed genuinely shocked, and since she didn't call me on it, I continued. Angel was terribly amused, and I made and made off to avail himself of the facilities while I continued my, in a very matter-of-fact sort of way. This building was built before indoor plumbing was a thing. You know that building in the park? The Parks Department building across the street. The one you passed on the way from the train? Yeah, that's the building's outhouse. I don't know if she was too burnt out or just gullible or if my deadpan delivery was just that fucking good, but after Angel audibly flushed and washed his hands, uh, da, 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 washed his hands, he returned and offered to take her to the outhouse. And as they made their way to the front door, I broke and showed her the way to my bathroom. I'm not a terribly fucked up person, <laughs> but I will mess with people if they wrongly word things when they're speaking to me. I do also expect it in return, and I am, however, terribly careful with my wording in most things, because I know that there are assholes like me in the world. I raised four of them myself, and I influenced a few others to the lifestyle. I'm just gonna put that there, because, you know, it's true. I raised four of my very own assholes, and all of them, let me tell you, world-class assholes. Okay, so I know this is why I'm rather deliberate in my wording, except for apparently when I edit my book. Oh. So I apologize. I'm going to have to edit that, put that in the copy. So these are all misprints. These will probably be worth more when I'm dead. And um, yeah, I guess I'll talk to you guys soon. Much love.